As a fan of musicals, I'm always looking for new old musicals because there are quite a lot of older musicals that I haven't seen, particularly from the early 20th century up to about the 70s because you know, the studios were putting out a lot of musicals that were very popular then. And one of those films that I'd always meant to see but never did was Bye Bye Birdie. This is a 1963 version directed by George Sidney and um, with a screenplay by Irvin Brecher written by Michael Stewart. I'm almost certain I didn't pronounce the screenwriter's name correctly there. And this stars the fabulous Dick Van Dyke as Albert F. Peterson and Janet Lee as Rosie De Leon. And I love the soundtrack, but first the narrative. The description from IMDb is as follows. A rock singer travels to a small Ohio town to make its farewell television performance and kiss his biggest fan before he is drafted. We have some very Elvis vibes here with Conrad Birdie. He's played by Jesse Pearson. And I guess he is your typical heartthrob poster boy rock musician who all the girls kind of swoon after. And he is about to be drafted up in the army and he's making his final television appearance before that and there's a chance for one girl to go and kiss him on TV. And... That sounds really cheesy and it sounds like not a lot, but actually it's it's good fun. It kind of, I don't know if it's meant to be making fun at all of these thousands of girls swooning over Conrad Birdie, but that's the impression that I get certainly for now because it's ludicrous how much they're lured in by this rock star. But then that's the way life goes. Celebrity culture is still what still the same now. And it's all about trying to get this girl there and how the other girls react, but there's also other romantic interests that kind of maybe get in the way or are not best pleased with the kissing of Conrad. It is an interest, it's a more interesting than I'm making it sound, I'll be perfectly honest. It really is very fascinating and just good fun. Aside from the narrative and the brilliant casting and acting, the other thing, the, the two things that I love about this are the costumes and the music. The costumes are amazing. They're so gorgeous. I'm really loving the vibes in this and the colours, the set designs are beautiful and I also love, really love the soundtrack. My two favourite songs are unquestionably Bye Bye Birdie and We Love You Conrad. I really love that song. I cannot get that out of my head. It really is a very addictive song and it's just got such a beautiful soundtrack. The film was nominated for two Oscars. It was nominated for the Best Music, Scoring of Music, Adaptation or Treatment and Best Sound. It was also nominated for the Golden Globes, Best Motion Picture and Best Actress, and the Laurel Awards, Top Comedy, Top Musical and Top Female Comedy Performance. Unfortunately, it didn't win any of those awards, but I don't think that really says much about the musical because it really is great. I know that there was one released a few years later, maybe a couple of decades later. I haven't seen it. If you have seen it, I'd love to know if you think it's worth watching as well. How does it compare to this one? I haven't seen it on stage, but I'd love to see it on stage one day. You know, to hear those songs being played by a live orchestra would be sensational. It would be really good fun, and I, I just think seeing the costumes come to life would be great. It's very well executed. The development is great. The pacing is really good. It's, it's rated universal. I would have thought it was a PG, but it's a U. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Really good fun. If you're looking for a musical to watch that you haven't seen, one with a, a, a great narrative, fantastic cast brilliant costumes and a gorgeous soundtrack. Bye Bye Birdie is a brilliant choice.